to episode 1 of TIS 100. Um, I've never played this game before. This is my first time, so I am using my newer microphone that I used on my yes or no video to record this and playing on my Mac. And I'm using QuickTime Player to record along with uh, some Soundflower kind of redirecting. So I can't really play on full screen because Mac doesn't, that, that I know of, have a good way to record uh, full screen uh, without having a lot of pixels and it going really slow. But yep, uh, I've been sick, so pardon the sniffles. But hopefully it's fun anyway. Uh, here we go. Self-test diagnostic, I guess, would be the first. Or maybe it's create new program. I'm not sure. So I've seen, I've, I clicked this basically just to test the sound, but not sure what, what this does. Let's see. Move up and down. So we have an in in X and A, out X and out A. So I guess these are input and output streams. Uh, I don't know if you guys know what streams are, but basically a stream is just, it's kind of like a list or a, I guess it's a list or it, it doesn't, I guess it's, it's, it's basically a whole bunch of data. And it doesn't matter if it's, I guess, talking about a file or a network or what. It, the, point is is that you get one piece of data at a time and that's basically what a stream is and usually in and out means like something into your program is an input and out it's just the output of the program or something like that so I don't know what X and A are can't find a pen right now looks like short-term storage 51079 got this one at swap meet today fellow wanted $450 okay I have no idea what I'm doing <clears throat> am I supposed to is there like a okay invalid op code what No way. I have to know what to type in here. We up. Missing operand. Down. Okay. What? Th that's the only command I know. Because that's the only ones that I see. So I have no idea what to do. That's from 1979. Are you serious though? That's like so old. Um, I have no idea what to do. This is, that's good though. That, that finally there's a video that, you know, I'm going to press escape and I'm going to, ah, the manual is a PDF file. Okay, so I'll show you guys this so I can hide that and maybe I can expand this. Um, there we go. Okay, cool. We are still in shock here from Uncle Randy's sudden passing. How many pages is this? 14 pages. What? I love it because it looks like a scanned. It looks like someone like scanned it. Like, see, there's question marks. But this is like an official, like they purposely made it look like. Look, see. To do lists. This is so cool. This is part of an official game. It's a PDF file. 
and it's part of this computer game which has really high ratings that's so cool because it's almost like real life that's that's really cool I had no idea that you're supposed to read a PDF <laughs> it's like stapled and everything M minus minus we are still in shock here love it Doris This machine was set up on his workbench when he died. Maybe he'll be able to figure out what he was doing with it. He would have liked to know someone was going to finish his work. So part of <laughs> Aunt Doris, so part of the idea is that Aunt Doris can scan this reference or send the reference mail manual to us and we can scan it and make a PDF out of it. Massively parallel computer architecture comprised of non-uniformly interconnected heterogeneous nodes. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what that means, heterogeneous. I think homogeneous means something about they're the same but heterogeneous i'm not i don't really remember non-uniformly interconnected so they don't necessarily have the same so i think it's talking about the the that these nodes kind of connect with each other and input and output from each other and the point is that each one is like a parallel it's like a big parallel computer, basically. And it's up to me to kind of take advantage of that and use it. Tessellated. That's really cool. It's ideal for applications requiring complex data stream processing, such as automated, automated financial trading, bulk data collection, Civilian behavioral analysis. <laughs> I love it because they make it seem like it's like a like a government thing or something. <laughs> Civilian behavioral analysis. Like, you know, like it's a military computer that's like, you know, secretly watching people or something like that. Bulk data collection. Don't know what that really means, but... Automated financial trading. Eh, I don't see. Like, they're so vague about it. Notes like this one will appear in the manual to indicate scenarios requiring special attention and to refer to other other documents that contain more information on a topic. So, I think it's just this might be a hint to something, but it might just be like you know, just. A, useless the, the point is is that it's just it's parallel programming i guess, I guess. parallel like assembly coding uh, consists of a large number of independent nodes connected on a local basis refer to the model specific manual to find precise node population counts present on a particular device node types can be broadly classified as processing or storage with several variants within each category. Generally nodes are connected up to four neighbors via ports. Okay, so basically that they have four neighbors because it's like a 2D matrix of, of these little things. Lightweight message passing communication. Read or write and blocking. If two nodes issue the same communication command on this connection between them, the nodes will deadlock and a hardware fault will occur. Okay, so basically there's a deadlock possibility. Two nodes trying to read from each other. So so basically we have to manually prove that our program doesn't deadlock. We don't have like a, it's not set up 
for us to, you know, we don't have a system that automatically avoids that. Which gives me the sense that this is a very, we have a lot of low level control basically. Uh, if a node c issues a communication command and it is never fulfilled by the corresponding node, the node will deadlock and hardware fault will... How would it know if it never... is fulfilled? It's not like it can detect an infinite loop, can it? Exceptions to this rule exist. Refer to the documentation of specific node types for details. Refer to seven patterns of node communication. Does not describe timing or throughput for node. Okay. So basically, it's up to me to kind of design things to not really care about time, which you're kind of supposed to do when you do... Um, uh, far, as far as I know, when you do uh, parallel stuff anyway. Uh, the node type identifier is restricted to specific models of tessellated intelligence system and will not be described in this document. Node or documentation for type T20 is distributed only with systems containing this node type. Unauthorized requests for copies of documentation describing this node are reported to the state. <sighs> Somebody did question marks. Reported to the state security bureau as required by law. Okay, so basically what it's saying is that state security bureau, so somehow the state is doing secret intel, not even the federal government. I have no idea. So basically there's a type of node that's called T20 and it's like, you know, top secret or whatever. I don't know. But I guess they're just making it look realistic but also interesting. Architecture, oh my goodness. Okay, so coordinating behavior, basic execution node. So there's like a... M oh, here we go. NX, NA, OutX, and OutA. Wow, that's cool. So we basically have like, it's almost like a chip, but it's like a computer with like different inputs and outputs. That's really cool, actually. <clears throat> you know what's funny is this game is probably doing that actually this game is probably an analyzing civilian behavior and it's collecting data from people playing the game to see how they solve problems and it will help with yeah okay anyway <laughs> This <laughs> this is crazy. I would not I would not doubt that the creators of this game are actually like collecting information from people playing the game. They're why not? <laughs> the basic execution node contains a number of registers that are used in the execution of its program. No additional memory is available on the basic execution node. If additional storage is required, the node should coordinate with another basic execution node or storage node. So, is that a storage node? Or is that basic execution node? I have no idea. Okay, so all registers store between negative 999 and positive 999 inclusive. Interesting. The, re the representation of register values 
is implementation defined the knowledge of representation is not required to program the basic execution node so it doesn't require a thousand it's not base two Okay, so ACC is type internal. This is a type of node, internal non-addressable. Okay, primary storage register, implicit source or destination operand of many instructions, arithmetic and conditional. BAK is temporary storage for values in ACC. So it's only accessible through what's SAV, SWP. I don't know what those are. Cannot be read or written directly. Non addressable. swap you know what i think what this is for is like okay if you want to swap two values it uses this it basically uses this like it's basically saying that this is a, like a register so basically this is a spot in memory that like if your instruction says to like swap like one and two what it does is it copies one to like this which is three or whatever, and then it stores two and one, and then stores three back in two again. So basically, this is like an extra memory space that you you don't even refer to it with a number. You don't call it three. You just it's just there on the side, and it uses it um, only for the specific purpose. I don't know what SAV is, but I think SWP stands for swap. NIL, internal special, reading nil produces the value zero, writing to nil has no effect, nil can be used as a destination operand to execute an instruction for its side effects only, discarding the result. Okay, so basically if you write to nil, it doesn't do anything. If you read it, it's zero. So it's like a useful thing. It's basically just a useful value to, to work with your functions and stuff. It's basically that, a bit, a bit, you know, like a fake zero memory space thing. So you can start with zero if you need, or like they said, you can write. If you don't need the value, you can just write to it, and it doesn't waste memory space. So left, right, and up and down. Topologically adjacent nodes. Oh my goodness, freaking easy. What? <laughs> See, they have to add the word topologically in here, you know what I mean? Like, some ports will be disconnected on certain nodes within the hardware. I like how it's easy enough to kind of understand. What's any? Okay, any you use the source of an instruction. Instruction will read the value, the first value that becomes available on any port. <laughs> okay. So that basically is reading the first value provided by any of your neighbors. So let's say you had like a block that basically will do multiplication for you, but you want to use it in two different places as well. All you have to do is provide it a number and have the block waiting with an any, and it will multiply. And then re respond, I guess. The result of the instruction will be sent to the first node that reads from any port on this node. Oh, wow. 
so not only does it read from any but it also respond to the first thing that is listening for the result so that's cool interesting okay last refers to the port last read or written using the any oh okay read or written interesting Okay, so you do know which one any you could see who you got your info from because before you send it out you could just check last and send it to that one. Implementation defined behavior. Cool. <laughs> Instruction set. Source and destination instruction parameters may specify a port or internal register. Any use of a port will block until the corresponding node comment text labels stack memory node random access to do figure out who sold swap meet dealer look for book of micro optimization tips renew license plate tabs interactive debugger <laughs> is this like a hint for something undo last change Control Z, Control Y, redo that. View anti temper certification status. Okay, so F1. Here we go. Cool. So that's the one that I wanted to see. <clears throat> Breakpoints. Okay, cool. Visualization module. Red. Dark gray, bright gray. This is cool. Okay, cool. So that's when you have the screen, okay. Self-test diagnostic. Okay, so What's it saying to do? Read a value from in x and write the value to out x. Read a value from in a and write the value to out a. Okay. Okay, so this one... I think I know what to do. So this is broken, I think. So this is like a broken box, I, I'm guessing. So I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do what I think is gonna work. So basically I'm gonna take this input and I'm gonna just divert it like dun 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 and then out. So MOV, I think up, down, MOV up, right okay what 49 60 oh move left down okay this should work 
dude. Running test three. Yes! <laughs> oh, that's creepy. It knows my name. How does it know my name? Did it use my Steam account to figure out my name? That's so weird. How does it... No, it's not supposed to know my name. It probably knows from my Steam account. I don't think I entered my name, did I? What? That's crazy. I think t I think Steam gave it my name. That's so weird. Oh, that's so weird. Okay, cool. So I guess we signal amplifier. Okay, so we did the first. We did the first one. It took me a while because I was reading through the reference. So all I did was the diagnostic. So that'll count as I guess the first like episode, and then maybe I should just do one each episode I'm not sure um yeah specification editor huh I don't even know what that means repair 17 more and then I guess I can have access to this oh that's cool so six one two three four five six so once I unlock these not only will these two also be unlocked and uncompleted but like all these ones that say six could be complete. and then one two three four five six and then there I can start having access to well, actually just two three like these four can be uncompleted and I will have access all the way to this one that's cool I like that. Okay. Well, that was fun. I think it's crazy that they have my name, but, um, yeah. I will stop recording there, and that will be episode.